Hi, my name is Jay Nice, and I am a junior at Westside High School. Bada boom. Bada boom. And this is my poem, Lavender and Fur. Ash leaves whisper on the trees, rubbing together, telling secrets no one in the forest can hear. The smell of broken lavender stems flutter up into the sky, making perfume for the earth. Catfish softly swim in the creek, bumping into moss and rocks, duckweed floating gently on the surface. The stones crest by the water and smoothed by time, and there's peace in the forest. The wind rustles in the tall grass bordering the trees, blue stem, rye grass, and oats that traveled from nearby fields. The smell of fir needles drifts across the ground, that, level, that lovely savory scent that entices you in. The birds that nest in the cedar, soaring through the air, touching clouds and spreading the colors of the sky, blue cerulean and a soft periwinkle, and there is peace in the forest. There's a crackling along the roots of a tall, tall tree, carving deeper, settling into soot, into nothing at all. The smell of smoke winds up the bark of old cedar trees, staining them. Falling branches, falling nests of chicks, embers licking at the rocks by the creek, the fish hiding in crevices and the moss singed, white-tailed deer running and jumping over logs being chased by a wall of flames, and there is panic in the forest. There's the hissing of dew on leaves being boiled by this inferno, the pattern of disintegrated leaves staining the branches of trees, starlings fleeing from nests of ash, and catfish hurriedly swimming downstream to avoid the blaze. A volley of smells that overwhelmingly engulf you, the lavender burned down to the very roots, the fir trees crumbling and cracked, and there is a panic in the forest. But there is relief. Soft sounds of rain pitter-pattering on the leaves that remain, washing away the soot and destruction, leaving only the clean bark of trees. The cries of the earth were heard and were answered with the kindness of rain. Years later, there are new sprouts, small lavender buds breaking through the ground to be greeted by sunlight. Starlings returning to make their nests, deer returning to meet their brand new fawns and there is life in the forest.